Welcome to CarburetorsAndMore.com, 832-221-4007. Okay, Mike Owen, um, we, you didn't put down any, any symptoms that you're having, which is great. But uh, we're going to start from scratch. It's a very cold morning here. We're going to leave your choke just like it is. We got fuel in it. We're going to try to crank it up and see what it does. I don't know if you can tell, but it's barely running. So, what the problem with it is, the choke is on. Of course, your electric choke can eliminate that, but we're going to turn, cut it off. And I'm going to turn that choke off. I don't know. You want to go ahead and turn it off? Or stick a screwdriver in it or a pair of pliers in it so we can start it back up. On these Pontiacs, they don't have what that's called a carbidal screw. We, we we thread that and put one in there. Maybe we make it a real carburetor. Now what he's doing there is he's turning that choke off to the off position. He's still turning, 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 turning. That should turn the vent. There it goes. Okay, now when you get your electric choke installed, that's the position it'll be in. And you get written instructions how to turn it on, how to set it. And then you don't set it until you get it on the car till the temperature is 45 degrees or colder outside. Well, let's see what it goes, how it does now. not that bad of a carburetor. I don't know what what your symptoms was, but I think when you get it back, I think you ought to be checking other things. Thank you.